Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. My name is MG Sri Ramaya, Senior Tech Support Engineer, Sonic Wall. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up tunnel all traffic over a site to site VPN between two Sonic Wall appliances. Tunnel all traffic or route all traffic refers to the method of routing all traffic from one side of a VPN tunnel to the other side. These are the steps to configure tunnel all traffic in the Sonic Wall. Create address objects, create VPN policies on both sides, create an ad policy in central side to translate traffic from remote side. Bring up the tunnel by pinging from remote side to a host behind the central side. This network diagram shows the setup we use for this video tutorial. Here we have two networks, which we will call central side and remote side. On central side, we have an NSA240 with a primary WAN interface IP of 192.168.170.51. It has a network in the LAN zone in the 192.168.168 subnet with a 24-bit net mask. On remote side, we have an NSA220 with a primary WAN interface IP of 192.168.30.22. It has a network in the LAN zone in the 172.27.24 subnet with a 24-bit net mask. Our objective is to set up a VPN tunnel between these two sites and then route all traffic from remote site through the central site sonic walls WAN. We begin by configuring the central site sonic wall. I am now logged into the management interface of the sonic wall at central site and have navigated to the address objects page under network. Here, under the address objects section, click on the add button to open the add address objects window. This address object is for the remote site sonic walls LAN subnet. Let us call it remote site network. Set zone assignment as VPN. Set type as network. Under network, enter 172.27.24.0. Under net mask, enter a 24-bit net mask. Click on add to create the object and then click on close. Next, we create the VPN policy. I am now in the VPN settings page. Click on the Add button to open the VPN policy window. Under Name, enter the name VPN to Remote Site. Under IPsec Primary Gateway, enter the WAN interface IP of the Remote Site Sonic Wall, 192.168.30.22. Under Shared Secret, enter Password123. Click on the Network tab. Under Local Networks, select Any Address. Under Remote Networks, select the address object we just created, Remote Site Network. Click on the Proposals tab. By default, the exchange mode would be IKEV2. You can change it to Main or Aggressive mode. You can also change any of the settings here, but make sure the Remote Site VPN policy has the same settings. For this video, we keep the default settings. No further changes are required. Click on OK to create this VPN policy. This is the VPN policy we just created. Let us now create a NAT policy to translate the source IP of traffic from the remote site sonic wall to the X1 IP of this sonic wall. Go to the NAT policies page under Network. Here, click on Add to open the Add NAT policy window. Set original source as remote site network. Set translated source as X1 IP. In TZ devices, you must select WAN primary IP. You may also choose any IP in the WAN subnet of the sonic wall. Set original destination as any and translated destination as original. Set original service as any and then translated service as original. Set the inbound and outbound interface as X1. In TZ devices, set this to WAN. Click on OK to create this NAT policy. Next, we configure the remote site sonic wall. I am now logged into the management interface of the remote site sonic wall and have navigated to the VPN settings page. Click on add to open the VPN policy window. Under name, enter VPN to central site. Under IPsec primary gateway, enter the WAN interface IP of the central site sonic wall, 
192, 168, 170, 51. Enter the same shared secret as in the central site Sonic Ball. Password 123. Click on the Network tab. Under Local Networks, select X0 subnet from the drop down list. In TZ devices, you must choose LAN primary subnet. Under Remote Networks, select the option Use this VPN tunnel as default route for all internet traffic. Click on the Proposals tab. You must make sure the settings here are identical to the proposals in Central Site. Since we chose the default settings in Central Site Sonic Wall, we do the same here. Click on the Advanced tab. Check the box Enable Keep Alive. Click on OK to save the settings. To begin the tunnel creation process, we must initiate traffic from this network to the other side. We do this by pinging an IP of a host behind the central side. I am in the system diagnostics page and have selected ping from the diagnostic tool. First, we ping the IP of the LAN interface of the central side sonic wall. 192.168.168.168 We get replies. Now let us see whether we can go online. Let's ping 4.2.2.2 It says it's alive. Let us now go to the VPN settings page to confirm whether the tunnel is up. I am in the VPN settings page. It has a green LED and this confirms the tunnel is up. This concludes this video on how to configure tunnel all internet traffic over a site to site VPN. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, visit sonicwall.com. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com support.